Over 100 city residents gathered this morning at the Pacific International Hospital in Port Mosby to raise awareness against cancer. This five kilometers walk around the city was aimed to educate women in the country to take screening tests and seek medical treatment as a form of early detection and prevention to fight against this disease. Chief Executive Officer of the Pacific International Hospital, Dr. Amnia Sultan, said cancer is killing up to 15,000 women in Papua New Guinea every year. She said this can be prevented if women get diagnosed early and are treated before it spreads to the rest of their body. However, with limited cancer facilities in the country, treating cancer overseas is very expensive. Therefore, more awareness must be done for women to be screened and get treated. PIH message to the women of Papua New Guinea is to please be aware that screening can save your life. Cancer advocate and participant in the global town work against cancer, Linda Baba O'Neill says, PNG cultural taboo is a contributing factor that is stopping women from taking screening and accessing medical treatment. Half New Guinea, cervical cancer is the number one cancer because we don't have those checks, we have those social taboos. And she, the governor, Paul Spakop, who was also a participant in the five kilometers walk in Port Mosby, said, in order to stay healthy, people must maintain a healthy lifestyle by taking up yoga drills and walking every day to stay strong and healthy. It's not like malaria, you can recover in one week or flu just in a few days. Uh, cancer takes a long time and it's very costly. So, Eric Arupman, National MTV News.